Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Operation Freedom Briefings. The goal of these briefings and my weekly radio show, Operation Freedom, which airs on Wham Talk 1600 of the People's Republic of Ann Arbor every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern, is to provide you information the bought-off, lamestream, fake media will never provide. And you know what? What we covered on our show yesterday has not been discussed in the lamestream media. And the reason is because the the same people who own the lamestream fake media are the same people that put these three characters that I'm about to talk to you about in a position to compromise our country's security. In the first hour of our show, we spoke with Paul Rosenberger, a cybersecurity expert. We talked about a cybersecurity event that occurred in Congress the past couple weeks that the lamestream has not reported on. It has been reported through Maria Bartiromo on Fox Business News Network. The Daily Caller has discussed it. Jim Heft in his blog has discussed it. But the bought-off lamestream media hasn't touched it. Let me give you a little background. Headline from Fox Business Network News. Three Muslim brothers... IT professionals from Capitol Hill for spying have been relieved of their duties because they were funneling House of Representatives data to an external server. Now, that is a criminal offense. That is a violation of the Espionage Act and treason. And the only person who gets away with this kind of stuff is Hillary Clinton. And it appears so far these three folks. Now, here's where it gets messy. Now let's hit the reports. And this has been confirmed to me by my contacts in D.C. Three brothers who managed office inter- information technology for governmental officials, congressmen, Democratic congressmen, were relieved of their duties last week on suspicion that they accessed specific computer networks without permission, also known as hacking. Here are their names. Abid, Imran, and Jamal Awan, and one of their wives, were barred from computer networks at the House of Representatives this past week. From the Daily Caller, the three brothers funneled House data to an external server that can then be accessed anywhere around the world, thereby compromising our security and safety. We're going to get into that. In a second, the ramifications of what happened here. Chiefs of staff of dozens of Democratic lawmakers, no Republicans, no independents, who employed the four, so they shared the salaries. And each one of these folks was knocking down 160 grand to be a little IT person. They were each making 160 grand. And they were employed by numerous Democratic congressmen who shared their salaries. Well, the chief of staffs of these Democratic congressmen were informed last week a criminal probe was underway, thank thank the Lord, into their use of congressional information technology systems, including the existence of an external server, sound like Hillary Clinton? Yeah. To which house data was being funneled and into the theft of overbilling of computer equipment. Their salaries at the time were shared among dozens of Democratic members, including former Democratic National Committee chairwoman, (laughs) Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Here we go again. Back to the future. Zero Hedge also did a a, a bit of an analysis on, on the situation. Again, nobody in the lamestream fake media. Here's what Zero Hedge had to say. The Amman brothers were assigned access to three members of the intelligence panel, and five members of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs, along with dozens of congressmen who employed the suspects on a shared basis. This gave them, now here's the big bell ringer, direct access to our military secrets and missions, such as the one carried out by Navy SEAL Team 6 in Yemen. Now these three brothers and their wife, who's also employed in this group, They retained their jobs after Obama left office. It was through the Obama administration that they got these jobs and were placed there. Now, that fact that they were still in there after Obama left is not unheard of since their positions were not seen as, quote, political appointments, end quote. However, 
they all were fired by the Trump administration within hours after Navy SEAL William Ryan Owens was killed in Yemen and three other Navy SEALs were injured in that top secret raid. Now, the field report of that raid is important because what is stated in the reports is that the Navy SEALs were going on a, if you will, a, um, a, a, a mission where it was a surprise attack. But they said when they got there, there was no surprise. Their enemy knew they were coming. Well, you want to know why they knew they were coming? Zero Hedge points it out. It appears these three brothers and that wife, when they funneled some of this data that they were privy to, which could include this raid to that external server, that external server could have well been accessed by the folks that our guys were going to take out. And that's why SEAL team member Owens lost his life and the three other Navy SEALs were injured. Look, from Mad World News, this is what they say. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to connect the dots. The firing of the Awan brothers is linked to the Yemen raid where Al-Qaeda knew we were coming. And it tragically ended with Navy SEAL Owens being killed in action. Captain Joseph R. John from the Navy retired has stated that he believes, quote, the Muslim Brotherhood, fifth column, has infiltrated U.S. government. And folks, if he is correct, the Awan brothers and their, one of their wives could well be a very big part of this infiltration that led to the death of SEAL Team member Owens and the three other members of SEAL Team 6 were injured. This is not a spectator sport. What you need to do is call your congressmen and senators and demand that this be not only looked into, but these people be questioned, interrogated, and I believe, based on what I know, arrested and tried in a court of law. Every single one of us needs to step up because this information is not going to come through the bought-off lamestream fake media. If you want more information like this, join us every Sunday from 2 to 5 on Operation Freedom, Wham Talk 1600. You can stream it at DaveJanda.com or WhamWAMRadio.com. Until next time, this is Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail.